Just worship the Lord. Say something to the Lord. Just, just, don't wait for the song to start. Hallelujah. Let's just worship him. Yes. Oh God, we just want to lift you up and we just want to glorify you, God. We want to give you all the honor, all the praise, and all the glory, God, because you are worthy, Lord. There is none other like you, God, in all the earth. You are truly one of a kind. Oh God, we just want to lift you up on today, Father God, and we dare not allow anything else to be lifted up higher than you. Oh God, we want to glorify you and give you our best praise and our best worship. We're not going to worry about what nobody else say, God. We're not going to worry about what nobody else speak, God. We're not going to worry about what nobody else doing, God. But we're going to concentrate on you, Father God. We're going to cast out our cares on you, God, because we know that you care for us, God. And the only way we're going to be able to do that, God, is if we empty ourselves out. So we're going to empty ourselves out and give you all this stuff on today. Lord, we're going to give you all that anger right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We're going to give you all that animosity right now, God, in the name of Jesus. We're going to give you all that grudging stuff right now. That get back attitude. We're going to give it all to you right now, God. We're going to give you all the pain and the hurt that's in the inside of us on today, God. We're going to give you all that grief on today, Father God. We're going to empty out all the worry and the concern on today, God. We're going to empty out that fear, Father God. Oh, God, in the and all that hopelessness. Oh, God, we're going to empty it all out to you right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Because we know if we empty it all out, God, we make it some room for you, God. So we're just going to empty out all that stuff, Father God, that, that causes us to get into that place, God, that we cannot focus on you, God. We're going to empty out all that stuff on today, God, that, that causes us to get into that place, Father God, where we got to point the finger and wag the head, God. We're going to give you all that stuff, God, that, that has caused us, God, to want to judge one another. We're going to give you all that stuff, God, that, that causes us to want to talk 
about one another. Oh God, we're going to give it all to you right now, God. Because we want to be empty and clean, God. We want our hearts to be washed and purified. So we're going to give you all these things up today, God. We're going to give you that stuff, Father God, that's going on in our homes, God, that we have no control over and cannot change, Jesus. We're going to give you all that stuff, Father God, that we've been holding on to, God, even from our childhood, Lord. We're going to empty it all out at your feet right now, God. We're going to give you that stuff, Father God, in the name of Jesus that causes us to get discombobulated concerning our finances. We're going to give you all that stuff right now, God. We're going to give you all these worry that we have about that concern that's going on on the job, God. We're going to empty all that stuff out to you right now, God. We're going to empty out all that stuff, God, that we think is holding us back or holding us down today, God, because we want to be in a place of peace. We want to be in a place of hope. We want to be in a place, Father God, of assurance. So we're going to throw all this stuff down at your feet because we can't change a thing if it was said. We can't turn a thing around, Father God, that was done. Oh, God, so we're going to empty it all out right now, God. Oh, God, I'm asking you to help us, God, to empty these things out because sometimes it's kind of hard for us to do it. Sometimes it's a struggle, God. So we're coming to you, asking you to help us, God, to simply cast our cares on you because we know you care for us, God. That situation in the marriage, God, we want to empty it all out right now, God. That situation in our relationships with our friends, we want to empty it out right now, God. That concern, Father God, that we have that's dug deep down inside of us, that we never even mention, that we never even say, that we never even speak out. We want to empty it out right now, God. Oh God, that could be our concern, that concern that we have about our children, whether they are toddlers, whether they are newborns, whether they are adolescents, whether they are teenagers, whether they are young adults or fully grown, we want to lay it down at your feet right now, God. All these things that causes us, Father God, to be in that place of fairness, all these things that causes us, Father God, to be in a place, Father God of feeling let down or left out. We want to lay it at your feet, God. We want to give it all to you right now, God. Every worry, every concern, every doubt, we want to lay it at your feet right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Because we don't want to hold on to this stuff. There's so many things, Father God, in the name of Jesus that we never even speak. And yet our mentality, God, it causes us to be motivated to act a way, to think a way, to do a thing. Oh, God, but we want to empty it all out to you right now, God. We want to totally and completely surrender ourselves unto you, God. It's so many times that we think that we surrender it all, God. But we have not surrendered it all to you, God. So we want to surrender it all to you, God, that we won't be in that place of fear. We won't be in that place of fear, God. We casting it down right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We casting it down right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I'm asking you right now to touch us, God. Touch us in our minds and in our hearts. Touch us in our bodies, Father God. Touch right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, even on our jobs, Lord. In some situations that's going on on the jobs, God, that we cannot change. We cannot rearrange. We cannot fix. But, God, we know that there is nothing that is impossible with you, God. So we're going to give it to you, God. We're going to give it all to you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Because we want to be completely empty. We want to be completely empty on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And we want to lift you up. 
We want to lift you up, Father God, as the King of kings and the Lords of lords. Oh God, we want to glorify you on today, Father God, because you are worthy. There is none other that is like you, God, now and then and even to come. You are truly one of a kind, God. And we just want to bless you, God. We want to bless you. We want to welcome you into the place, God. We want to welcome you into our minds. We want to welcome you into our hearts. We want to welcome you into our bodies. We want to welcome you in the sanctuary. We want to welcome you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We want to be in your presence. We want to soak with you. We want to lay at your feet, God. We don't want to dwell on nothing to your or see. But we want to glorify you, God, for just who you are. You are great and you are great to be praised. And we dare not exalt anything or anybody higher than you, God. And I see that thought we can't get over. We're not going to exalt it higher than you, God. Oh, God, that thing that was said, God, we're not going to exalt it higher than you, God. But we're going to exalt you, Lord. We're going to exalt you, Father, as being our sovereign king. You said, God, if we keep our mind on you, you keep us in perfect view. I can see you. Oh, God, rain down your peace. Rain down your sovereignty. Rain down your hope. Oh, my mind, little Oh, I do it on today, God. I'm asking you to enter into this sanctuary and be a Casilla. Oh, God, that it be a Casilla, that it be a be amongst us on tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus. As we get ready to go, Father, in your coffee, inside the form, God, inside the form of deliverance, inside the form of freedom, inside the form of love. Oh God, he cut it in the shut it in the Oh God, we ask you right now to help us, God. Help us right now, Father God, that we will be our Casilla. Empty out some things that we've been holding on to. Help us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. That we can lose some things, Father God, that we've been holding on to. Help us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. As your women enter into the sanctuary, Father God, let them feel your presence. As your women enter into your sanctuary on today, Father God, let them feel your presence, God. Let them know, Father God, God, in the name of Jesus that they have entered into a safe place. Let them know, Father God, in the name of Jesus that they have the Sea. Oh God, that they have entered into your presence. Oh God, let your people, Father God, in the name of Jesus, open up their hearts that they may be able to accept some things on tonight, God, and simply be able to release some things. Oh God, seal not the mouths of your women, God, but let them speak out, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that they may be able to be set free. Let them speak out on today, Father God, that they may be able to face some things, God, that they've been holding on to. Help your women on tonight, Father God, that they will understand the virtuality of your will, your course of your wisdom. Oh God, help your women on today, that they may understand, Father God, the presence of your glory. Oh God, rain down on us on tonight, Father God. Open up our minds, Father God, that we may be able to understand and that leads to our own understanding. Open it up on today, Father God. Oh, be I can see. I pour your spirit, God. I pour your spirit on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. That your people will not be lost. That they will not be let down, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Open up the hearts of your people today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that your riches and your glory and your honor, Father God, will rest rule and abide within their lives on today, Father God. Give your people the completeness that they need, Father God, when they feel incomplete. Give your people the wholeness that they need, Father God, when they feel like they are walking in partiality. Give your people the dignity and let them know they work, Father God, when they degrade their own selves, God, not believing that they are somebody. Oh, God, I'm asking you to help your women on today, Father God. Not to be bitter and angry, Father God. Not to be so easily offended, God. I'm asking you to help your women on tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus. That they will be loose from the chains and the shackles and the bondage of the mind. That they will be loose from the chains and the shackles and the bondages of the heart. Oh, God, I'm asking you to give us a heart of flesh on tonight, God. That any and everything that you say, Father, will be able to stimulate some things, change some things, and 
simply rearrange some things. Oh God, I'm asking you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you will help your women to release some things, Father God, that they simply want to address, but they are afraid. I'm asking you to sever that spirit of fear. Sever it right now and cast it down, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Sever that spirit of anxiety. Sever that spirit of lost hope. Sever that spirit on today, Father God, in the name of Yakas, and rain down on us on today. Rain down on us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Overshadow us and succumb us with your power. Overshadow us and consume us with your power. Consume us, Father God, with your glory. Oh God, reveal and manifest yourself. Let your people be like I said, I did it see ya. Let your people enter your gates with thanksgiving and enter your courts with praise without hesitation or compromise. Remove your people out of that comfortable place, Father God. Remove them out of that comfortable place, that they may know, Father God, that they are being elevated. That they may know, Father God, that they are being challenged in your will and in your way. Let your people know, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you want them to be free. Let your people know, Father God, that you want them to be whole. Let your people know, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you love them. Let them know that you are concerned about them. That's why you let them know about themselves. Oh God, give your people a heart of flesh. Break up the vital ground on today, Father God. Break it up, Lord, in the name of Jesus. That your be a cassia, that your sport, God, that has the two edges, will go in and change some things. Digging out some things, dividing some things, separating some things, changing some things. Oh God, let not the thoughts of the people in the VIC see. Cause them to be bound, God. Let them not lead to their own understanding. Let them not become destitute in their thoughts, Father God, and waver in their faith. Build their faith up on today, Father God. Knowing and believing, Father God, that you are able to do everything. That you are capable to do all things. Touch your people on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And give them the strength that they need, God. Because some of your women just simply need the strength. The strength to press. The strength to press, Father God. Because some of them, Father God, in the name of Jesus, want to just give up on the thing. They want to give up on the person. They want to give up on even their own selves. But I'm asking you to lift them up in your glory. Lift your women up on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that they will not just have strength, Father God, but that they will have more than Saturday us in their life, God, and that they will not allow themselves, Father, to fall down into that place of darkness, thinking and believing, Father God, that they are there alone, because God, you even do well in the dark. Oh God, I'm asking you to help your people up today, God. Help us on today, God, and give us the courage to speak out. Help us on today, God, and give us the courage, Father God, to open up. Oh, God, that we may be free, that the deliverance may begin, that the healing may take place, and that the freedom may overwhelm the occasion of our power and lives. Help us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, not to dwell on the past. Oh, God, that sent me, I can see. And the Lord said the past was just simply a few minutes ago. Oh, God, let not your people dwell on the past. Let them heal inside of their hearts. Because they still have not healed from some hurt that they received from the men. They still have not received the Akasi. They have not healed, Father God, from the hurt that they received from their friends. They have not read the Akasi. Received the healing that they got the Akasi. Experience from their mothers and their fathers, their sons and their brothers. Oh God, I'm asking you to help them on today, God. Challenge of the Akasi. The challenge is coming and says, God, help us on today, Father God, that we were at Iacacia, put on our war clothes. Oh, God, bind your word upon the tables of our heart that we shut our sin against you and neither one another. Bind your words upon the table of our hearts, Father God, that we shall stand on your word, knowing and believing that you are not a God that shall lie. 
and neither can you die. Help us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And give us the dignity that we need, Father God. Yet let us not walk in pride. Pull that spirit of pride down. Pull that spirit of daintiness down. Pull down that haughtiness on today, God. Help us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. To shake off some things that shook us today. Help us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. To shake off some things that shook our minds and our thoughts, God. Let us not be weary in our way of doing. Let us not get faint, Father God, in our race we're running. Help us on today, God. Let us have wings as eagles. Oh, God, how happy I can see. Oh, God, let us be as harmless as a dove. Oh, God, give us a fruit of your spirit that it would be easy for us to forgive. Give us that love that we need, that it would be pleasing in your sight. Help us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. That we won't be bound within our own selves. Help us, God, to be delivered even from our own selves. Let your will be done within our lives, Father God, in the name of Jesus. It's so many times that we walk into our own will, Father God. It's so many times, God, that we think and believe that we're doing your will, and yet we're walking in our own will. I'm asking you to help us on today, God. I'm asking you to help us right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because we need your help. We need your courage. We need your deliverance. We need your peace. Help us on today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that we will not be lost within our own selves and the cares of this world and this life. We get so wrapped up and so busy, God, that we cannot be or go see, do what is required of us concerning our own salvation in you. Help us on today, Father God, not to forget about ourselves, God, concerning our salvation in you. Open up our minds and our hearts, Father God, that we may be able to make room for you. Oh, God, we want to make room for you, God. Oh, God, we don't want to be so consumed, God, that we can't make room for you in our hearts. Help us on today, God. He cut me little cold feet. Oh, God, that we may empty out all this stuff, Father God, that got us going on. They got us so messed up in our lives, God. Help us on today, Father God, that we may simply forgive, Lord. Help us, God. That we may outpour some things. Heal us in our minds and even in our bodies, God. Heal our hearts, Lord. Heal our hearts, God. That we won't allow these, these soul ties and these old ties to just be dangling around inside of our hearts, causing us, Father God, to be hard hearted. Give us a heart of flesh, God, that everything that you speak, God. It will simply stimulate some things within God. Help us on today, God. Not to be so defensive as we do, I can see, or offended, God. Help us on today, God. To face these things, God, that we feel is an offense. Help us on today, God. Not to lead to our own understanding. Give us your declaration, God. Even now, Lord, in your son Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. The Lord is talking to me about some things. God don't want us to be bound. He don't want us to be into that place where we think like there's no hope. And that we cause ourselves to fall into a rut and just doing it because we believe it's a job or we're obligated or just doing it just to do it because you know you have to do it or it has to or or it gotta be done. Lord help us to gather ourselves because we be every which way but loose. Our mind be over here on this thing. Our mind be on that thing. Our body be right here. Our heart over there. Our, we, we just so discombobulated. We want to gather ourselves today. I want you ladies to get your bread, pens, and yellow sheets of paper. And I want y'all to write down some things. And then I would like for you guys to, to put them over here in the prayer box. I want y'all to release some stuff on today. I want y'all to... 
We allow ourselves <clears throat> to, to hold on to stuff and to think a certain type of way or do a certain type of thing. We allow ourselves to be so messed up in our minds and in our hearts that we cannot get past a thing, we can't get over a thing, and we hold things in. And It's, 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 it's not the place that we want to be. It's, it's, it's not the thing that we want to do. We want to be able to, to, to have ourselves in that place of, 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 of peace. We want to have ourselves in that place of, 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 of forgiveness and absolutions. It be so hard for us to forgive sometimes. It be so, so hard for us to forgive sometimes because of a thing that was said or a thing that was done. It, it just be so hard, and then we put pride up. And in the midst of us putting that pride up, we have a tendency of, of, of disregarding things or ignoring some things or being selective in what or how we understand the thing. Because when we do this stuff, we allow ourselves to fall down into that place of lost hope. We allow ourselves to fall down into that place of not really understanding something. We allow ourselves to fall down into that place of, 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 of thinking and believing that God doesn't love us or he don't have a plan for us. We, we allow ourselves to get into that place of, of, of degradation, even degrading our own selves and, and not allowing a word to be spoken freely into our lives because that word that is spoken freely, we take it and we encage it causing our own selves to be in captivity. I lose captivity on today in the name of Jesus. I loose it into the atmosphere that we won't be bound up in it. That we will not allow ourselves to be bound up in it. We won't. We won't. I want you ladies to get yellow sheets of paper and red pens and write down all this stuff that you got down inside of your heart. All this stuff that you don't talk about or won't talk about or haven't talked about. I want you ladies to write all that stuff down because we want to release some things. We don't want to be holding on to nothing. We don't want to keep nothing hidden in. Because we practice acts that we don't even know that we be practicing. And the Lord showed me that today. You could want to express a thing or want to say a thing. And at that very moment, you get ready to address it. And then you don't get a response or something from a person. And then if that person say, well, well what's going on with you? What, what, you know, I, did, did, did you want to talk about something or... Did you, did, you, did you have something to say? And then you say, no, I just forget it, or I, I, I'm just gonna disregard. It's almost like you harboring that thing down inside of your heart that you have not expressed. And, and it causes animosity, it causes anger, it causes bitterness, and it turns into nothing but pure hate. And then you start speaking some things into your own life. You start speaking some things into your own mind. That is manipulation. The thing that was said or done or even what you saw or what you heard has mentally motivated you to put yourself into a place of captivity within. It was two things that were said on the prayer line this morning. It's a thin line between sanity and insanity. The Lord started ministering to me about that. Sanity is when you're supposed to be in your right mind. Insanity is when you're not in your right mind. But the first two words spells in, I N. So insanity is something that's going on within you. It could be in your mind, it could be in your heart, it could be in your body. Insanity. Notice everybody 
that is insane is something that's going on within them and they have to take medication to help them. It's a within thing. It's something that's going on within. It's something that's going on within. It ain't nothing that's going on without. It ain't nothing that, something can be said into the atmosphere that's without, right? So if it's something that was said without, it causes the inner man to go into a place of insanity. What is insanity? What is it? Let me get my, my, my phone so I can look it up. Because that revelation that the Lord had given me today concerning the word insanity. Insanity, a severely disordered state of the mind, usually occurring as a specific disorder. Y'all know I, I got my degree in psychology. Listen to this. Insanity is, this is dated today. Insanity by law is unsoundness of mind or lack of ability to understand that prevents one from having the mental capacity required by law, this is the law, to enter into a particular relationship status or transaction or that releases one from criminal or civil responsibility. Insanity is extreme folly or unreasonableness. Insanity is something utterly foolish. That's what it says. Insanity. <laughs> a foolish act or idea. Lack of good sense or judgment. Insanity. It's, it's <laughs> unreasonableness. It's ludicrous. It's simple mindedness. Is 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 dullness of thinking, dense in your thoughts. I, I'm reading. It. I gotta read that one more time. Lack of good sense or judgment. A foolish act or idea. A serious mental disorder that prevents one from living a safe and normal life. How many of us is living a normal life? Literally, living a normal life. Don't y'all know all our lives is abnormal? It's abnormal because in our minds, we cause our own selves to go to that place of insanity because of an action or because of a thing that occurred, because of a thing that we saw or even what we heard. We all have been in a place of insanity. It goes a little deeper than that. Our thought process, he been dealing with me with the man for how long now? It's been a couple months, y'all. Our mind, our foolish thinking, our own ideas, leaning to our own understanding, causes us to go simply insane. Our overthinking, our not thinking, our thinking the way we think, our thinking the way we view stuff, we see. 
Our thinking the way we perceive stuff, we hear. It causes us to get into that place. So we want to empty out some stuff today. We want to empty out some stuff today. And we don't want to disregard the truth tonight. We don't want to overlook some things about what's inside of us. So what does sanity mean? The quality of state of being sane. It's the normal or healthy condition of the mental abilities. So what's normal and healthy about our mental abilities? Because the Lord had me preaching Sunday about our mental motivations, the thoughts within. What's normal about our thoughts? What's healthy about our thoughts? Because even when we don't want to hear a thing, we'll block somebody out. We, you do it. She do it for sure. She do it without a doubt. She do it. I do it. We, don't. Don't. Without a doubt. We do it. And we just block. And in blocking it out, we disregard some things that could simply help us. Am I right or wrong? That could simply change our mental sanity. It could change our mental sanity.